Today we'll be assembling the ultimate go-kart. First, slide the rear axle through the back of the go-kart body. The axle should slide through the gearbox on either side, then through the rear bin and out the other side of the go-kart body. Next, plug in the battery. Locate the red and black wire close to the front of the go-kart with the white connector. Install the back panel. Slide each seatbelt strap through the side of the panel. Snap the panel into the rear bin one side at a time. Insert the M4 by 14 screw into the small hole at the top of the panel. Fully tighten with a screwdriver. Center the seat in front of the rear bin. Pull each side of the seatbelt through the back of the seat. Ensure that the seat bracket is aligned in the correct direction with the front facing closest to the steering wheel and the flat side flush against the bottom of the go-kart. Use two M5 by 20 screws to secure the seat bracket to the underside of the go-kart. To adjust the seat, lift on the red seat tab and move into one of the desired positions. Align the holes of the steering linkage and brackets. Be sure the tab on the linkage is facing upwards. Place a washer between the linkage and the bracket. Use a screw to secure this stack up in place. Capture with a nut. Use a wrench to hold the nut in place while tightening the bolt with a screwdriver. Insert the shield into the tube in front of the shifter. Use a bolt to fasten the shield to the frame. Capture it with a nut. Use a wrench to hold the nut in place while tightening the bolt with a screwdriver. With the car on its side, insert the steering tube through the opening at the front of the car. The length of the tube should route into the shield while the curve end should hook onto the notch in the center of the steering linkage. Install the steering wheel. Be sure to align the holes of the steering wheel with the holes in the top of the steering tube. Insert a lock nut into the hexagonal pocket on the right side of the steering wheel. Push a bolt through the other side of the steering wheel and use a screwdriver to thread into the nut. Install the front bumper. Be sure to align the holes of the bumper with the holes on either side of the frame. Secure the bumper with a bolt on either side. Capture the bolt with a flat washer and lock nut. Use a wrench to hold the nut in place while tightening the bolt with a screwdriver. Slide the front wheels onto the front axles. To secure in place, capture with a flat washer and lock nut. Use a wrench to fully tighten the nut. Align the step on the front wheel with the notch inside the wheel cover. Snap into place. Repeat for the other side. Slide a coupler over either end of the axle. 
align the steps in the coupler with the notches in the back wheel. To secure in place, capture with a flat washer and nut on each side of the car. With both wheels installed, use a wrench to hold the nut on one side of the axle while using another wrench to fully tighten the nut. Align the step on the rear wheel with the notch inside the wheel cover. Snap into place. Repeat on the other side. Fit the rear fenders in place over each rear wheel. Secure each fender in place with two screws. Assemble the flag and insert into the pocket on the top left of the rear bin. Remove the sticker from the back of the car and power the car on. Now you're ready to roll.